Hi students and welcome to the second week of HSA 4124. This, this video will provide a brief overview of the topics we're covering this week and the assignments that are due. This week you're responsible for reading two chapters, one on global health and disease and the second is on the global health, systems, policy and economics. You do have a quiz that is due this week you will have till Saturday, January 17th to complete it. And it covers three chapters, chapters one through three. Now I'm going to scroll through this content folder and just briefly describe the materials that are provided to you for this week. First, we have our quiz one link. You click on this quiz in order to complete your quiz. And of course, always remember to click on the submit button after you've answered the questions. I have two PowerPoint presentations for you to view. They go along with the chapters that you've read for this week. Again, one is on global health and disease and the other is on global health looking at systems, policy, and economics. There's a, also two excerpts that I would like you to read. One is on disease management and the other is on globalization of health systems. Now I'm going to go through the videos that I have for you to view for this week. The first is on global disease detectives in Kibera, Nairobi, Kenya. Um, and this video is very interesting to watch because it provide it highlights the importance of maintaining surveillance indicators to prevent the spread of infectious diseases, of course, on a global level. So be sure to watch it. This video is on the changing disease landscapes. It addresses infectious diseases at its source and how such diseases spread on a global level. This video provides you with a medical animation um, on the stages of HIV, HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus. And this video that I have for you to watch touches on the top 10 leading causes of death. Now that covers it regarding the material for this week. This video is just for you um, to help you feel more comfortable at taking exams and quizzes in Blackboard. It provides you with instructions on how to take an exam or quiz in Blackboard. And last but not least, we have our weekly checklist. Be sure that you've completed everything on this list before going to the following week. That pretty much covers it for this week. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. Uh, I'm here to help assist and guide you guys through this course. And um, that wraps it up. Best of luck, everyone, and take care.